bring back a lot of memories just looking at this. This is an old picture of the farmhouse that my dad hid from the Germans with. Um, when the Germans came into town, they had a escape route underneath the barn, and he would go hide from the Germans when he was uh, about 16. It was a tough time for everybody in the world, but uh, we're really blessed to kind of grow up the way we have now because of what happened way back then. We have it easy compared to what they went through back in that several years. Oh my gosh, that one's probably gonna make me cry. The Goliath post was my very first post on my blog. We have tons of sunny days. That's why we have open lot dairies. That's why our cows are outside is because it's beautiful weather. We have great climate here. was a hundred year storm, is what they call it. The wind, I don't even know how to describe the wind. It was just so cold. You could just feel it like in your bones, blowing so bad. It was a long 48 hours. We didn't lose any milkings here because everybody just kind of worked together. I didn't talk to my husband for 48 hours during the blizzard. No idea where he was. It was kind of like survival time. It was all about the cows, keeping things moving. Let's get those feed alleys cleaned up, make sure our wells are going, make sure we have water. I think like any other dairyman, you want to do what's best for your cows. So that's what you do. Employees came through for us. They are willing to work, come in the snow, stay overnight, sleep in offices on the ground, on couches and chairs. I know you get asked a lot about how many cows you lost, but I'm not going to ask that question. I'd like to ask, how many cows did you save? We saved thousands of cows, way more than were lost, which is what's important. Even through all the hard times, as a family, as a community, I really felt like we pulled together. 